The Children's Learning Institute at the University of Texas Health Science Center at Houston implements the Texas School Ready Project as an early education approach that serves at-risk preschool-aged children through shared resources between licensed child care providers, Head Start, and public pre-kindergarten classrooms. Students are prepared through both social and cognitive skill development to enter kindergarten successfully. The Texas School Ready Project is a grant funded program through the Texas Legislature. Uh, funds are managed through the Texas Education Agency and awarded to University of Texas Health Science Center, particularly to the Children's Learning Institute. And we're charged with the funding of a grant program to bring about qualitative changes in early childhood programs across the state. So we let the Texas School Ready grant every other year as uh, we're funded by the Texas Legislature to communities who respond to a grant proposal. Through that proposal, grantees are awarded participation and classrooms are solicited, materials are purchased, courses are set up, and teachers begin the partnership in their community uh, with a mentor and the implementation of some really fun and great things for kids. People came together in the communities, whether they were in child care, Head Start, or public school pre-K. It's the first program that's brought all of those partners together into an, a real integrated, shared partnership to get kids ready for school. They share facilities, they share materials, they train together. So that's a huge success because the state saves money we get teachers to learn from each other, and we give parents major choices. Schools such as Mark Twain Primary School, Law Elementary School, Lucy Reed Pre-Kindergarten Demonstration School, and Little Dudes Learning Center are Texas School Ready participants. Both teachers and students at these and other schools have seen positive results since joining the project. As a pre-K teacher, I think that this program should be in every early childhood location, whether it's a daycare, Head Start, or a school district. They were um, doing things in the pre-K the pre classroom that they weren't exposed to um, in years prior. And they came in the kindergarten classroom ready and equipped oh, with, um, they had a better knowledge. The difference I've seen in the children that participate in the program and those that don't participate is in looking at those that didn't have the opportunity when they went into the public school system they really weren't uh, you know ready for what they were asked to do but since I've been in the curriculum here they are prepared and it makes a great difference. Now in its eighth year, the Texas School Ready Project has seen participation increase from 110 classrooms and 2,140 children to more than 1,800 classrooms and 41,000 children. Texas School Ready also has grown from 11 original staff members to more than 200 staff in the field, including mentors, coordinators, and technical assistance specialists. There are five major components that Texas School Ready integrates into its program. E-Circle Professional Development, Mentoring, CPALS Plus Progress Monitoring, Curriculum, and Sustainability. Because the mission statement is that we want to learn through science, through strong research, um, what are the ingredients or the components that best assure children succeed in life? And the Texas School Ready program is built on a solid foundation of research through several different studies. Um, and we found a set of successful, effective components to put in place and now have been able to scale that up across Texas. The professional development training courses in the Texas School Ready Project help advance school readiness instructional practices in pre-kindergarten classrooms throughout Texas. Participation in this training results in dramatic improvement across several areas of teaching, allowing Texas School Ready teachers to become more effective in the classroom. I think the 
biggest asset that AISD has gained from the Texas School Ready Project has been the professional development for teachers. It's given us a baseline, um, a standard of service for pre-kindergarten throughout the district that's just phenomenal. It's scientifically research-based and our children are, are, are just benefiting so much from having their teachers go to um, e-circle classes. The main Texas School Ready professional okay, development tool is eCircle, which are web-based, face-to-face professional development courses facilitated by a Texas School Ready mentor and designed to provide teachers with a common experience that allows for conversation and learning. This format has been shown to help teachers develop their understanding of research-based instructional practices for early learners. These ongoing sessions are focused on specific content areas designed to deepen knowledge and build specific skills, which will improve teacher practices. E-Circle is a professional development that's provided to the teachers throughout the year. We work together, they collaborate, they share ideas with each other, and um, we hold those in typically in computer settings, even though it's a face-to-face -face professional development. Um, in the E-Circle class, um, we might focus on phonological awareness for a period of time. We may focus on math. Um, shared writing and when we have these class sessions we talk about what the um, program is on how to do these activities in class. After that our mentor um, will give us a question and we'll post on the computer and we'll respond and sometimes that response might be how did it work in your classroom? As a mentor I try to ask my teachers you know when you were in E-Circle and they were talking about some of those strategies with that specific um, course maybe special needs read alouds um, how do you think you're going to apply that into your classroom? I mean, what are, what are some real life things that you can do? I mean, you may see a video or you may see, see an example that you think, well, that doesn't apply to me. But how can you take one thing out of that and apply it to your classroom and to your children? And what was so great about eCircle is that the teachers were sharing ideas. It wasn't just the presenters talking to us. We were interactive with each other. We were telling each other. We were venting to each other issues that we may have had and getting ideas to help in our classroom. And after I did what the teacher had told me about specific journaling and writing, my writing in my classroom skyrocketed. Every child in my class wanted to write in every single center. Mentoring in the Texas School Ready Project is a complex, multi-dimensional process of guiding, teaching, coaching, influencing, and supporting a teacher. The goal of mentoring is to help teachers become reflective problem solvers who observe their children and understand skills and concepts with the depth needed to meet children where they currently are in their development. Texas School Ready provides teachers with four hours per month of ongoing mentoring with a highly qualified mentor. When we go into the classroom and we greet the teacher, our focus is on the teacher and the instruction that she or he is delivering. So we sit close to the teacher and it's some side-by-side -side mentoring. The mentors also have been great at uh, going into the classrooms, modeling for the teachers, uh, sharing with them, and also just observing teachers and uh, giving them, being able to collaborate with them and um, what they see is a, a need or maybe a way to enhance what the teacher is already implementing in the classroom. Sometimes I mentor what we call side by side where the teacher is delivering some level of instruction or a particular lesson and I'm there side by side hands on with the teacher. I may interject with some suggestions. I may prompt the students to stand up and be more interactive with the lesson. One of my favorites is the video camera because the teachers can use it to self-reflect and I mean you never get to see yourself teaching and you can really learn a lot by seeing yourself in action. Every time I videotape a, a teacher and we sit there and we do a reflection and they're looking at it, there, there's always something there. I didn't know I did that. Oh, I have to change that. Mm -hmm. 
The Texas School Ready Project uses the CPALS Plus Progress Monitoring Tool. Developed by the Children's Learning Institute, CPALS Plus generates reports that show children's progress in rapid vocabulary naming, rapid letter naming, phonological awareness, mathematics, social and emotional development, writing, and book and print knowledge. Teachers use this information to inform instructional decision making for whole group, small group, and individual lesson planning. Teachers participating in Texas School Ready use the results from assessments, observations, anecdotal notes, portfolios, and these progress monitoring reports to make well-informed and timely decisions about the instructional needs of each child. Based on the immediate feedback from the progress monitoring reports, teachers carefully look at the child's strengths and needs, plan appropriate lessons, select appropriate materials and activities, and continue to document the child's growth and development. We are a data-driven district to begin with, but for pre-K we've never had that data component. And with the teachers being able to do it on the computer, and, and have a printout of exactly where their kids are, where they need to be, it gave them the, the tool to be able to pull the small groups together to build on and to get them further and to be considered on level. The progress monitoring has been great. I've had teachers to look at the progress monitoring and say, I thought my kids knew that. And then they, once they see that they didn't know it, then they go back and they're surprised because they thought they covered it. So when I think about that and all those surprises that come up, I think about things that, um, that would go possibly unnoticed. So I think uh, the progress monitoring allows them to be very detail oriented and cover every piece that should be covered. I utilize progress monitoring to guide my mentoring. I print out the reports for my teachers, which the reports are amazing because it really shows the growth of the students and there's recommended activities and it groups the children into small groups already so that they know, okay, I work with these kids, I need to work with these kids on phonological awareness, and wow, here's three different activities that I can do with those kids. So it really helps us when we're lesson planning together. I think the progress monitoring definitely has let us know if the kids are prepared for kindergarten, what they've mastered. Well, what happens at the end of the pre-K year, the teachers can give the results of their CPALS assessment to the kindergarten teachers. It'll help the kindergarten teachers with making some decisions about the students. They'll have a baseline. They'll know where their students are coming from so they can further uh, their skill level and take them where they want them to go by the end of kindergarten. The environment that we provide here is a learning environment. It is not daycare, it is not babysitting. And it validates in a huge way the um, significance and the professionalism that is exemplified throughout the center. And it prompts dialogue with families when they come in. Best practices in early childhood education recommend age-appropriate materials be used for hands-on instruction and cognitive development. In the Texas School Ready Project, teachers incorporate high-quality, developmentally appropriate, state-adopted curriculum for whole and small group instruction to enhance learning for young children. The teachers uh, receive curriculum and materials to enhance the instruction in their classroom. They've received word cards where they can build a letter wall which um, helps their students with letter knowledge. They've also received manipulatives, um, alphabets which will help also with letter knowledge and phonological awareness. They've received signs to incorporate centers in their classrooms. During Valentine's Day we were they sent the teachers sent home a list and he was naming the kids' names on there. He's like, that's Akaya, that's Jeremy. And I was like, oh my God, my son is reading. And my, my oldest daughter, my teenager was there with me. You know, she picked him up and she was like crying. She's like, yeah, he's reading. I can't believe my big boy. So it's benefited him quite a bit. Que mi hijo Jeremy está más preparado porque él es, pues él está en eh, pre-kinder. Y mi hijo mayor 
él no tuvo, um, no pudo ir a prekinder. Y yo puedo ver la diferencia entre los dos porque mi hijo está un año atrás, está un poco atrasado y yo puedo ver que Jeremy no va, no va a pasar por el mismo problema de él porque él está muy preparado para, ya sabe su nombre y muchas cosas, entonces. I moved down south, uh, I looked at so many and I, every one I went to, it, The kids were just rambunctious, their behavior, was, it wasn't structured at all. Um, when I got to Little Dudes, I saw books, I saw calendar schedules, I saw the learning activities and the curriculum that they had, and I was, I was thrilled. The Texas School Ready Project utilizes the Texas School Readiness Certification System, an application system which recognizes and certifies classrooms that effectively prepare their children for kindergarten. About two-thirds of educationally at-risk children who participate in the Texas School Ready Project arrive at kindergarten on par with their middle and upper income peers. As a result, grade retention in kindergarten and first grade has significantly decreased, resulting in a substantial cost savings to the state. I've had my teachers track, we've done a tracking to see how many of the students actually attended Law Elementary with whom, which teacher, uh, and actually looking at their, their results. And I must say, the students who attended Law last year and that was part of the, the program uh, scored extremely uh, well compared to those students who did not. The fine tuning that goes on, I mean every person that I've met has in some way um, felt grateful for the program, has felt that it has enhanced their teaching and provided a strong quality program for the children and the parents. 72 of our kids went through the project, both bilingual and English classrooms, and probably um, another hundred of the kids that came to us were not in the project, they either came from other schools or private schools, probably um, more fluent situations, and For those kids to have experienced it, it put them on the same playing field. We want to bring folks into partnership with us at, their, at the community level. Uh, we want to engage them uh, for, for two full years and some professional development provided by the State Center. And during that time, we really want the leadership in that community around early childhood to come together and determine are there ways that we can work okay. smarter. I'm learning here with Aubrey that he is getting that foundation that can help him be successful later on. You don't go into teaching, particularly early childhood teaching, unless you really want to help children be the very best they can. And I think what we've done with this program across the state is given teachers what they deserve to have in terms of materials, resources, training, personal support, so that they can go home at night and feel like the kids they worked with that day got their best. W -S -Y.